WLNS is here for you with 6 News at 6. The man who kidnapped and killed a two-year-old Lansing girl will spend the rest of his life behind bars. It is our top story tonight at 6. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. A judge sentenced Rashad Trice this morning to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the 2023 murder of Winter Cole Smith. Tessa Kresh spent the morning in court and joins us now. And Tessa, it was another difficult day for the little girl's family. Yes, it was an emotional day in court as the family of Winter Cole Smith expressed the pain of losing her in such a horrific way. Her grandfather, Elmont Smith, fought back tears while reading a victim impact statement on behalf of himself and his son, Winter's father. So many things to say. The big question is, is why? Why was my baby, Winter, my little angel, used as collateral? A grandfather's pain on full display in court. Just one of the victim impact statements read today. The assistant attorney general read one from Winter's grandmother. I could not bear to be there in person. I can't bear to see his face without reliving that tragic date of such horror. That day was July 2nd, 2023, when Rashad Trice violently assaulted Winter's mother at her home in Lansing before stealing her vehicle and kidnapping Winter. Hours later, he was found and arrested near Detroit. But when officers searched the car, there was no sign of Winter. Three days later, her body was found dumped in a Detroit alley. Trice later admitted to taking Winter and strangling her with a pink cell phone cord. This act of pure evilness Rashad has committed is irreversible in its actions and cannot be forgiven. Ingham County Public Defender Keith Watson said Trice decided to plead guilty against his advice. I don't know what speaks more loudly about remorse than an independent desire to offer his plea of guilt to a mandatory life sentence. The prosecution says although there is accountability, Trice lacks remorse. There's very little emotion or, or acceptance of what the, the grievous actions of this man and what he's done to so many people's lives. And so Trice, who appeared in court over Zoom from Nuego County, was asked if he wanted to make a statement before the judge handed out his sentence. He replied, no. I don't hate you, but I hate what you've done. As again, you took somebody special from me, my only grandchild. Trice is still facing federal charges and will be back in court later this month. Federal prosecutors said they will not seek the death penalty. Back to you, Sherry and Javon. All right, Tessa, thank you very much for that update.